Yeah. Ape Nation, what's happening? It's your boy, Will. Back at you with another video, baby. I know it's been a few days. A lot going on. Business I had to take care of. Y'all know what it is. But anyway, check it out, yo. What's up? What's up with this, Elon? What's up with this? Y'all see the popcorn emoji, right? Y'all see that popcorn emoji, right? Hmm. What's that all about? Elon, go ahead and throw that AMC in front of that popcorn emoji. Go ahead and put AMC in front of the popcorn emoji and get this over with, bro. Get it over with. Go ahead and throw AMC in front of that popcorn emoji, bro. Somebody go tell Elon to put AMC in there and get this shit over with. But anyway. In other news, more rate hikes coming the first week in June. Just took a peek at the spy at 5.52 in the morning. Spy's already down big, down to 386. Closed at 391 yesterday. Going to look like another bloody day in the markets. And it seems like the more Jerome Powell is speaking, <laughs> The more these markets fall. Jerome Powell, the chairman of the Fed, got another term on May 12th. And then all of a sudden, all the questions that we were asking him before he solidified his term, and he said that he didn't have an answer for it right now, now, all of a sudden, he knows all the fucking answers. Now that he solidified another term. Wow, ain't that funny how that works? And now he's getting real aggressive. Real aggressive. It wouldn't surprise me if he does a whole point next month. It wouldn't surprise me. But, you know, it's mighty funny how first week in June, they're doing another rate hike, and then you have the TSP being locked up from May 26th to the first week in June. Hmm. Then you have Ken Griffin buying a shit ton of call options, hundreds of millions of dollars worth on both GameStop and AMC. Way more call options than he bought puts to hedge. Um, we own a piece of cinema, uh, national cinema, cine media now. <sighs> We're looking bullish as fuck, bro. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, a lot of things lining up, man. I mean, the, the stars are aligning, guys. Like, I mean, I don't want to sound like the guy that says we're going to squeeze soon, but the stars are just lining up. I mean, I mean, do I need to say much more than that? Oh, yeah. About the Ray Dalio thing. Doesn't mean shit. He bought $600,000 worth of AMC, guys. Woo hoo. One of the richest men on the face of the fucking earth put 600,000 in AMC. That is so insignificant. So insignificant. Doesn't mean shit. Tell him to throw a whole B in there. Tell him to throw a billion in there. At least a hundred million. Come on, man. This. this not even a pinch off of the barrel of his wealth, man. I, I don't understand, like, why. I mean, I don't know. It's it's doesn't mean shit to me, though. Just insignificant. Uh, what else? Since I ain't made a video in, like, five or six days. You know, had business to take care of. You know how it go. But, um, uh, what else is there to talk about? Oh, yeah. I think Al from Boston is full of shit. 
he got Goldman Sachs executives telling him that the squeeze is not going to happen anytime soon. How the fuck do they know that? How the fuck do you know and how the fuck do they know that? Have you talked to Ken Griffin? Huh? Have you talked to him? That's what, man, I don't know. This, This guy, he just seems really fishy to me now. Like, the more I listen to him, like, he just seems really, really fishy. I'm sorry. You guys can listen to him, believe everything that comes out of his fucking mouth all you want, but um, he sounds like he's full of shit. Um, it, It's just something really suspicious about him to me. Like, the guy doesn't show his face. He He's making these big claims all of a sudden, these huge claims, sounding a lot like Lou. Makes all these big claims with no proof to back it up. He's talked to all these higher ups. And they've said this and they said that. And he's saying that now, even after being back on YouTube for over a week now, making a shit ton of videos. And he's just saying this now, after he just disappeared for months. Like, this just, just doesn't seem right. I mean, am I the only one? Am I the only one? Drop it down in the comments. Y'all, y'all think this dude is suspicious too? Y'all, y'all smell something fishy about this guy too? Or is it just me? Let me know down in the comments. Ain't too much more to talk about, man. The stars are aligning. You guys see it. Uh, Yeah, put two and two together. It's not hard. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace and blessings.